I want to create a new Google Sheet and I'm logged into Google in Chrome, if I just type in sheets.new, what will happen is this will then open up for me a brand new spreadsheet ready to rock and roll sitting inside my drive. If I want to actually open it inside a folder or create one really quickly inside a folder, all I need to do is be in that folder inside drive and do sheets.new and it will then create a new spreadsheet for me. But let's jump out of that and come to a sheet that I prepared earlier for your viewing pleasure. So here we have a sheet that's got some data on it and we're just going to look at how we can navigate our array around this sheet really easily. At the moment, if I scroll up my page, you'll see that that top row will disappear. So I'd like to be able to freeze that row. So if I move my cursor up to the top here, you'll see that bar goes blue. I can drag it down and now I've got a frozen top row. I can also do it to the columns and now I've got a frozen rows and columns. So my data or my headers stay in the same spot and my data can move around. To actually get rid of them, I just move my cursor back there, wait for the line to go blue and just drag it and away I go back to that spot as well. So it's a really handy way of just freezing the rows and columns. If I want to select the data in my spreadsheet, if I just go Command or Control A, while I've got my cells, while I'm sitting in a bunch of data, then it's going to select that bunch of data for me. So it's got all of that. You'll see that because I've got a gap down the bottom there, what it will do is it will only grab the body of the data that I've got. And if there's a gap, it will then not select the next bit of data as well. If I want to select the entire sheet and do something with it, then all I need to do is come to the top here and click this square at the top and I get the whole sheet. So sometimes you want the whole sheet, sometimes you don't. But for me, a lot of the time, if I just go Command A, it just grabs that bit there. Now I'm on a, uh, a Mac at the moment, so it's either Command or Control, depending on what version you're in. So I'm going to keep on referring it to it as Command, but in your heads, if you're on a PC, it's Control, and you'll also see the prompts appearing on the screen. So that's okay. So now I've got my, I can select that data, I can do what I want with it. If I want to jump up and down a column really quickly, so if, I, if I've got a stack of data I want to get down to the bottom, if I hold down my command key and the downward arrow, it will take me to the last bit in that data, in that bunch of data. If I come down and hit it again, it will take me to the next bit down. So it just picks up the bits of data and jumps me around. And also if I go hold down the command key and hit the right arrow key, it's going to take me to the right and it will take me to the end of my data as well if I keep on doing that. So it's just a really nice way of navigating around my sheet by just using the command key and the arrow key to go up and down. If I want to edit a cell, so I've got the formula in a cell here, I've got magically down here, I've got the average of this cell here, and you can see that the formula, and you can see that the formula lives at the top here. If I want to edit that, I can come up to here and edit with my cursor, but if I'd like to edit in this window here, all I have to do is hold down the function, the F2 key, and then it will come up there and I can edit in that cell. Once I finish editing, if I just hit enter or escape, it will then do the changes for me. So it's a really nice way of doing it. So that's the F2 key. And if you're on a Mac, you might have to go hold down the function and the F2 key as well, depending on how you've got your keyboard set up. So that's okay. So what happens if I want to copy something really quickly? So I want to come to this one bedroom apartment and copy that. If I go Command and C, it'll copy it, move it to where I want it to, Command and V, and that'll paste it. So it just copies and pastes it exactly as it is. Now, if I grab a formula, it's going to go belly up. Watch this. If I go Command-C, come across here, and Command-V, it's going to go belly up because it's looking for a whole lot of formulas in this column here, and there's no formula. There's no values there, so it can't actually work it out for me. So let me just delete that out of there, delete that out of there, and we'll just undo to make it all nice and pretty again. So let's pretend I just want to grab that value there. So if I go Control-C, copy it, come across to here and go Control Shift and V, it's just going to paste the values in that cell. So Control Shift and V will just paste the values in the cell, which is a really handy way of being able to just drop those values in there and then I can change the formatting if I want to. If I make a horrible mistake and I want to get out of that mistake, so let's pretend that I've just highlighted all these cells here and accidentally push delete. It disappears and I start to panic. If I just go Command and Z or Control Z, what it does is it just undoes what I've last the last thing I've done. So Control Z is your incredibly good friend, or Command Z if you're on a Mac is your great friend to be able to undo all the time. So you might have a sheet that's got a whole lot of formatting and styles on it that you just want to get rid of so you can play around with the data. So if I highlight this up and then go Command and backslash, then what that's going to do is that will just rip off all the formatting for me. So it gives me the bare bones so I can start playing with my spreadsheet again. 
So those shortcuts and quick tips there save me heaps of time when I'm working inside a sheet and you'll get used to using them over and over again. There's a bundle more of these hotkeys that you can use and these shortcuts, but for me, those are the main ones that I use all the time. I really hope they were helpful for you.